Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge Primark haul. I can't believe it, but I went and I took everything back and then ended up buying more stuff. And, and I'm not gonna lie guys, I got so much for my money. I got some beautiful leisure pieces. I'm just having a coughing fit. I got some beautiful casual pieces, but also I got three cohorts that I think I'm gonna have to keep. Anyway, if you're interested to see what I picked up, then just continue to watch. So baby, we start living now. Hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet, and I do new videos on this channel every week. And today I am bringing you a Primark haul. And I'm just going to get straight into it. As always, I'll try all the pieces on um, and let you know if I have any feedback on them. But let's get straight into it. So first of all, you have probably seen this fleece a million times because I bought it, I took it back, regretted it, bought it again. Now I've bought another one because I genuinely love these so, so much. They are £7. I picked one up in a small and the reason I've got another one is basically I got paint on my other one. I don't want to talk about it. It really upsets me. Um, but yes, yeah, so I went and I picked another one up. £7 in a small. And then while I was there, I also picked up another colour, another two different colours. So I can't lie, I've actually wore this black one um, a handful of times since I've bought it. I wear this to I've worn this to the gym nearly every day. Um, mainly because it's great to just slip over my sports bra and then I can take it off when I get to the gym, but it keeps me warm going from the gym to the car because it's still freezing outside. So again, I got this in a small at seven pounds. They wash really, really well as well. Um and I even like the little ends of the toggles, how they're rubberized. That sounds really bizarre, I know, but yeah, I picked up the black one. And then while I was in there, I had to get this stone colour. I actually was after this one a few times, but they never had my size. And they didn't actually again, they had only an extra small. But I thought the extra small would be okay. It does say six to eight, but genuinely they come a little bit oversized. So the six to eight fits, like it fits, if that makes sense. Um, but I loved this colour so, so much. And I think this is more like brighter for spring. Um, but I th thought it would go with everything as well. So yeah, another £7 for that one. Next up in the active wear, I thought I would give this gym set a go. Now I'm not 100% sure about A, the colour and B, the fact that they're shorts because I don't really wear shorts to the gym. But I wanted to try them on and see what they were like because they had loads of these. They had them in um, a baby pink and a baby blue. And I really, really liked those, but they didn't have my size. So I thought I'll bring the cream home to try and see what the fit is like. These shorts are in a small and they've even got a phone pocket, which is incredible. I tend not to wear shorts to the gym, like I say, because I just feel a little bit self-conscious in them. Um, but I wanted to try them on. I'll show you what they look like in the cutaway. Um, they also had leggings in this material as well. It's very, very buttery soft. And don't know if I said, but they are eight pounds. And then I also got the top to match because you can you go out, go and buy not a set? I don't think so. So I bought the top to match. They've got removable cups. It's the same buttery soft material. I actually think these are in incredible quality because I have some amazing gym wear and that I love and they're very, very similar in feel. Um, but these were just seven pounds. They're also made out of 50% of recycled nylon. So that's good to know. So I picked this up in a small. They also have the t-shirt versions of these, which I believe I've tried on in a previous haul. So I know that the fabric is incredible so I thought I'd pick that up £7 for the top £8 for the bottom so that's £15 for the set um not too shabby Primark looking forward to trying that on just a little bit of feedback on this gym wear set it's really lovely and soft the material is lovely and thick and you can't see my underwear through it um don't know whether I'd wear the shorts personally to the gym I don't really like this area here I don't feel like it's very flattering don't know whether it's just because I don't know of the seams or where the panels fit, I don't know, I just I just don't like it. Um, and the shorts are pretty short for me. Like they need to be longer for me to wear to the gym. But the top, however, is really supportive, really nice, really comfortable actually, and it's got padding in there as well. It's actually really supportive. So I think I'm gonna keep the top. Um but the shorts were no from me. But yeah, love the top so much. Next up I bought a basic. I actually just bought this grey sweatshirt because I 
feel like I'm lacking a few basics recently. I have had a huge wardrobe declutter, as you saw, um, and I've been really, really ruthless, and I feel like I've got no clothes left, if I'm honest. Um, so I picked these up because it's only £6, and it actually matches um, my Primark joggers that I have, which I actually could do with a wash, so don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I thought I would get the jumper to match at £6, absolute bargain. Got it in a small. They are very oversized. I probably could have got away with an extra small, but... Um, love these they're all fleecy inside just like the joggers so yeah you can't go wrong with those at all while i was in the active wear section i did see these which i cannot wait to try they were a little bit pricey i mean they're not but they are 12 pounds and um, they're made 50 percent recycled polyester and i bought them in a small but i loved these so these have got a wide waistband and they are the same gray marl like colour which I love so much but these are flared leggings now again they're in the workout section would I wear these to the gym to work out in probably not it's got crotch sweat written all over it um and they are very like it's just a very comfortable material but I just thought these and that sweatshirt they're the same material same colour what a nice little outfit you know um so yeah picked those up in a small in the workout section uh 12 pounds the next up i picked a few tops up um because again i'm lacking in tops that is a very loud helicopter outside if you can hear that um i actually picked up this bodysuit so this one again this is quite pricey for primark seven pounds for this bodysuit but i've seen a lot of people buy it and i'm hoping that's because it's good quality it does feel quite thick um and I do really like the style of it. Like I tried to find a cheaper alternative in like the vest section, but nothing had like the scooped neck on the front and the back, which is what I loved the most about it. I think this with a pair of denim jeans is just the perfect outfit. So yeah, I picked that up in a small seven pounds. It does look like it comes up a bit small if I'm honest. So I will give you some feedback on the fit of that. But it seems to have like quite a bit of stretch in it. So we'll see how we get on just on this bodysuit seven pounds is a lot of money i was expecting it to be a lot thicker so it wouldn't be as see through. it's not see-through like but you can see you can't see my nipples through but i'd have to put nipple flowers or a bra on do you know what i mean so considering it's seven pound i think i would i don't think i would buy it for seven pounds it's nice though don't get me wrong i just don't know whether i would pay seven pound for it i think i'd rather just get a vest top which would be way cheaper. I think they're like, what, £1.50? <laughs> Next up, while I was scooting for some, like, cheaper alternatives of that vest top, I did stumble across these little, like, would they be racer tops, I would say? I don't know. I remember having tops like this when I was about nine, if I'm completely honest. But I still love them. I love this kind of, like, neckline. I think it's really um, flattering. Um, and I really loved... I just really loved the material. It's the same really thick ribbed material but these were just four pounds which i thought was really good so yeah i got this color and then i also picked up the black because you know can't go wrong with a black one um both in a small they look really really titchy again but i just feel like there is a lot of stretch in these really thick though guys like really good quality i love those so so much so yeah picked up two of those both in a small four pounds these are so thick just want to tell you the quality of these for four pound is so so nice i really like the um shape of the neck i just really do um just a bit different uh they are a bit cropped though that is the only thing so yeah but if you wore something high-waisted you'd be fine oh my gosh i feel like i should have done this haul in two parts because it's a long one guys it's a long one anyway next up i picked up these jeans now i've had a bit of i love the, the jeans in primark lately i think you know my obsession with the mid-rise straight leg jeans can't fault them somebody on my last video i can't remember who it was so i'm ever so sorry but if it was you thank you so much for recommending them i went out and picked up the cargo jeans i got these in an eight these were 18 pounds they did have a khaki color but i picked up this like sandy beige which i thought would go really really beautifully with that white bodysuit um just really nice to have like a brighter jean that's not 
blue in your wardrobe i did have some really nice khaki ones like i say that i had that i've had to give away um to charity that i loved so i thought i would try those on and see what they're like again these are the cargo jeans 18 pounds in an eight next up i got this blazer and this was kind of an impulse buy because i know a lot of people have been trying on the green trouser suit which i love i think i've even tried it on myself in a previous video but i just wanted to get something a little bit different to what everyone else was and i saw this one and this is like more of a it's a darker green it's more muted and um, it's more like um i want to say an olive but what color does it even say oh it says green that's helpful um can't quite put my it's like do you know what it's like it's like a eucalyptus green that's what I'm going with. It's a eucalyptus green. It's beautiful. It's got beautiful cream lining in it. And that's what I love probably the most about it, which is really sad because that's not something you would see. But I just thought, you know, if you do see a glimpse of the inside of the jacket, I loved the contrasting cream lining. I really did. Um, I love the three quarter sleeves on it as well without this little um, pin pinned up detail. And yeah, this was just £20 as well, which I thought was quite... Um, a bargain i got it in a small which is 10 to 12 fits pretty nice thought again jeans white bodysuit this thrown over the top pair of trainers just like really nice casual and bringing a bit of color into the wardrobe for spring so really liked that for 20 pounds i love this outfit just wanted to let you know because i haven't bought these in this haul so just i know i'm going to get questions these jeans are also primark these are the mid-rise straight leg that i rave about i absolutely love them um i love the fit of them i think they're just really beautiful because you can dress them up or you can dress them down um and i love it paired with i've just paired it with that seven pound bodysuit and then this blazer and I actually really like this i'm very tempted to keep this blazer because it's just really comfortable and it's like i say adds a bit of color to your wardrobe for spring um so yeah really love this outfit okay guys we're on the last three cohorts and i'm so so excited to share these with you because i genuinely think these are the best things i've picked up from primark i'm so shocked that i haven't seen anybody else get these i just must be really lucky um but the first unless i just haven't seen somebody try them on but the first one is this little black set so the shorts were seven pounds now i know what you're thinking probably juliet shorts it's march but you know people are starting to book holidays now hopefully the summer is coming we are we are praying we are doing everything we can to positive vibe the sun in and um, but these shorts anyway they're like this crepey material someone has told me the material before but I forgot again because I'm crap. Um, I got them in a small because that was all the one, that was basically all the size they had. And the shorts were £7. But to go with it, they had this top as well, which I really, really loved. Again, the same stretchy, crepey material. And the top was just £5, so it's £12 for the set. Now, I did get the top in an extra small because it's all they had left. But like I say, there was so much give in these. Um, that was the black set. And then, just when I thought, it couldn't get any better. I saw this set around the corner, which is the exact same material, the exact same style. It's the wide elasticated waistband, but it's this beautiful black and cream florally. Oh my God, it's got pockets. Right, you aren't going back, you're staying. Um, black and cream, kind of like, it's not florally, it's just got like a leafy, pa leafy pattern on. And then also the same style top to match. So this is the top here. Now, why I loved these two sets so much is not only were they just £12 for the set, it was £24 for the two sets. And I thought you could totally mix and match these. So the this top with the black shorts, the colourful shorts with the, the white and black shorts with the black top, like you could genuinely make so many outfits out of these with like a shirt over the top with the top with some jeans i genuinely just thought this was such a good value for money so if you see it in your store it feels really soft highly recommend it i'll see how i get on when i try it on but so far loving that so so much just a bit of feedback on this one at the shorts cup really big these were small and I'd probably could have done with an extra small and then the top's an extra small and I probably could have done with a small because there's not as much stretch in the top as there is the bottoms. But they've got pockets, guys. They are, this is super, super comfortable. Like, I'm very tempted to keep this. If I can go back and get the shorts in an extra small, 
um, I'll be keeping this for summer because I just feel like it's a really cute co-ord um, and I'd wear it a lot personally. I've just paired it with these um, sandals that are also Primark. They normally have these in every year so um, they also do them in like a nude colour I think but I thought they went really nice with it so yeah. Love this little outfit, £12. Bargain! Guys, I'm keeping this. I love this. It's so comfortable. I thought out of the two, I would be swaying more towards the black because it's safer, it's more comfortable. But this just looks more expensive. Like, it looks like a really nice outfit. If you're going out for a meal in the summertime, this would be really nice. You could dress it up if you wanted to. I love the pattern on it. I love how it kind of, like, flows from the top to the bottom. So it almost looks like a jumpsuit. But you could wear them a bit lower and you could show that gap if you wanted to. These are so stretchy. Um, I probably could have done with the extra small, like the black, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter because of the style of them. It's not like they're gay do you know what I mean? And I love the pockets. I'm keeping this 100%. Love it so much. Um, yeah, love this cord. I think it looks so expensive for £12. Like, it really does. Um, I will be keeping this one. And finally, this cord blew me away. Not only did I absolutely love it, when I saw the price tag on it, I nearly fell off. I wasn't standing on anything, but I nearly fell over. Um, they did also have this in black and white. Well, like a black and a, an off-whitey cream. But they didn't have it in my size. And it seemed to come up... It looks like it's going to come up quite big. I'll see when I try it on. But how nice is this? So this is the skirt. It's like a... I can't really explain the material. It's very similar to the dress that I had for Leo's christening. That's how, like, it's like a, a crocheted, a thick crochet, but it's elasticated. Does it say what material it is? Probably does somewhere in here. It probably does say somewhere, but I can't see. It's this long skirt. It's got a split up the back. And it's an elasticated waist. Now, this is an extra small. I mean, personally, I think that looks a bit big for an extra small. So, I'll try it on and we'll see. The skirt was just £10, guys. It's this beautiful, like, beige and cream striped material. And then to go with that, I got the top to match. I can't believe they had the top to match as well. Again, really gorgeous material. I picked this up in a small because that was all they had. But the top was just £6. So it was £16 for the set. I really, really like that. Like, I'm not sure what I would wear the skirt with on its own. And I'm not sure... I mean, I suppose the top would go with jeans. But I just think it's such a lovely little cohort for £16. Bargain, that is. That's definitely probably going to... That's definitely going to stay in my wardrobe for summer. I think that with a nice white shirt over the top, some nice wedges or sandals, even trainers with that, to be honest, I'd be happy to rock. Um, so, yeah. Really, really love that. So that is everything I got from Primark. My award has not disappointed. It is so thick and such good quality. I really, really love this. Um, it's comfortable. It's stretchy. I love that it's a two-piece because then obviously you could mix and match it with something else if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I love it. Really, really love this for £16. I think it's an absolute bargain. I've said that about every single thing in this haul today, but you know what? I'm just blown away by everything. Who's telling me that? That the, Who's saying that there's nothing in Primark right now? Because they need to get to the Merry Hill one by me. Because quite clearly, they're missing out. So, guys, that is everything I got from Primark. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. It was jam-packed full of stuff. I've heard so many people lately saying that they can't find anything in Primark. But I just must be either really, really lucky on stock or just be finding Aladdin's cave because every time I go in, I seem to be coming out with more. Like, I don't understand why Primark is overflowing with some really nice things. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favourite item was. And if you found any hidden gems in Primark, I would love to hear about them. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.